Hey, and welcome to EdTech Hustle. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Canva's Magic Write to rewrite some of the content that's in your presentation. So here is my presentation. Now, I actually created this using Magic Design by Canva. I'm going to leave the card right up here in the corner of this video. If you're interested in that, I'll also leave it at the end of this. But I was able to create a presentation from this prompt. You can see what it says, Mastering YouTube Tips. Now, typically when I would create presentations, I would use ChatGPT and create all the content inside ChatGPT and just kind of copy and paste ChatGPT to Canva. Now, if that works for you, that's your workflow, you can still do that. But luckily, inside Canva, they've really done a great job integrating their magic right which is essentially their ai writing tool so here's how it is if i just click on this item right here on the screen now you can see what's on here i like how there's not much text i may reorder the slide design but on here what i want to do is maybe add a few bullet points let's just say okay you'll notice that when i select this text if I select it, there is an option for Magic Write. Now from here, I'm going to get this submenu, and you can see some of the options that are on here. So one thing that I can do is just select Rewrite, and in a second, there it is. Magic Write is able to just kind of rewrite that sentence in a little bit of a different way. So now I'm going to replace that, and it was able to rewrite anything. So this is really helpful if you're adding text in any design, whether it's a presentation or anything else in Canva, and you don't want to sit there and really spend the time wordsmithing it. So another thing you can do when it's on here is there is a way that you can select this option, continue writing. What will happen now going to start with that sentence and add a longer paragraph that's right here so I can take this and I can replace there we go so now I have this long paragraph now this is great but the problem is as you can see it's kind of a lot of text on the screen now I mentioned a second earlier that I was going to probably reorder the slide to uh, to get it closer to how I want it so I'm not too worried about the design in this situation but what I am worried about is the content that's on my page so what I want to do now same thing I'm going to select magic right again and this time I'm going to choose this option at the bottom that says custom prompt. So I'm going to select custom prompt. And now you can see on the screen, it's giving me some options. It says turn this into a list. Okay, so I'm going to kind of do a variation of that. I'm going to say turn this into three concise bullet points. So now when I generate that, I should get three concise bullet points right there at the bottom inside that window. Looks like it almost was giving me a couple more in, in, in uh, below, but it, it gave me three, which is what I like. Now, if I don't like those, I can actually have it rewrite again. Okay, there we go. It rewrote those again. You can do this as many times as you'd like, and you'll notice in the in the corner right over here, it says two of two. I can go back to the original prompt if I like that one better. And of course, I can replace that content. So now I have my three bullet points. It looks like the uh, that bullet didn't actually come out. There we go. And now maybe I want to redo this design or move some things around. But again, the key is this will allow you to take like a block of text, a paragraph, and break that down into more concise parts so your slides are easier to read. Now, there's also some other really fun features here with Magic, right? I'm just going to ungroup these two text boxes. And now if I select this, select Magic, right? You can see more fun. It's now going to take that comment and rewrite this in a more fun way. You can see that the rewritten version chime in on comments like a social butterfly frequent and with flair. So again, I've spent lots of time staring at a blank slide or staring at a slide that I created, trying to find a way to maybe make my text more fun. I've gone to different websites and tried to see what other stuff is out there. This may be an option to give you an idea of how you might want to change it. Of course, you can also do this. You can change this to be more formal. So now rather than putting that comment, which was more of a kind of fun comment. There we go. 
it now has changed this to a more formal way. So lots of really interesting things that you can do with Magic Crate. Now, what you can also do is use Magic Crate to create content rather than rewriting content on your slide. So from here, I just created a text box just like that. I'm going to choose Magic Write, choose Custom Prompt, and this time I'm going to say, write five helpful tips for any content creator that's new to YouTube. And Magic Write is going to generate five tips for me. Okay, now, these are good, but the problem is that it's a little bit long to put on one slide. So I'm going to say this, but, and I'm going to add a second prompt for this text. And I'm going to say, please make these sentences more concise. Only a few words on each bullet point. So I really want to take this text, make it more concise. I'm going to generate. And yes, I know I spelled concise wrong, but I just didn't want to fix it because you don't really need to. All right, there we go. So what you saw before, we had this huge, big block of text. It has now been taken and just reduced or synthesized into those five different bullet points. And now I can select replace. Here's my text. Now I do have to maybe do a little bit of a... Uh, cleaning up right over here. I don't, I especially don't want to leave that in there, but of course I can do things like make this smaller, uh, just like that. I would never leave it that small in a presentation, but hopefully this gives you the idea. So if you use Canva, go ahead and check out Magic Right Now I did check because I know some people are free Canva users. It is available across all versions of Canva, whether you have a paid subscription or you have the free version. So thank you so much for watching this video. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment area below. Thank you so much and have a great day.